Okay, hey folks. This is my accordion. In the last video, I showed you some basics about how to test out the accordion so it makes all the sounds. Uh, just to recap, my accordion is a very simple, basic sort of student model. It's lightweight, 16 and a half pounds. It's got only two registers or sound uh, options on the piano side. Bass is bass. There's nothing there to choose, no registers there. And the only issue with this keyboard was that the F sounds clarinet fine on the way in and out. But on the bandonian, which is supposed to engage another set of reeds, one of the reeds in the set is not working on the in, I believe, or the out. So the F still sounds like the clarinet, but on the in, it includes the bandonian extra reed, I guess the, the low reed set, and therefore you can hear both the middle and the low. So that's why you have this more rich sound. But on the way out, only the middle reed is playing. Okay? Anyway, doesn't really make a difference to me for most stuff. It's an easy fix. Uh, you know, it could be one of the reeds is stuck. It has some dust in it, so it's not vibrating. I think the valve should be still working on it because otherwise it would be a leak. So it's probably just something with the reed or it might have even, uh, who knows, rusted shut or fallen off, who knows. Anyway, I'm not bothering to fix it at this point. It's not worth it for me to start messing around with this thing until, uh, you know, I decide it's worth it, I'll do it. Anyway. Let me just introduce you to the bass. Piano, of course, is, I mean, pretty simple, right? You know, piano. You just, if you know piano, you basically practice on the piano. It's a little bit weird playing sideways. You have to get used to this. Because you're, you can't see anything you're doing. You're basically just, you know, looking out in the, in the space. You're not going to be looking down the keyboard like this trying to find where you are. It's, you're seeing it at such an angle that it's almost impossible to figure out where your finger is. The bass, same thing. You're not seeing anything at all. You can't even, even if you wanted to look, you couldn't see it. So it's all about learning in your mind where your fingers go. Fortunately, the layout is pretty good. It's a Stradella bass system. I have 120 buttons here. So there's a counter bass row, the root note, which is the second row major minor major seventh and a diminished variation so i'll explain to you how that works there's a, a dimple on mine at c and it repeats at you know every certain number of buttons up and down so i can find certain uh, landmarks if you don't have that on your bait on your bass on your accordion you might want to add something just so you can feel it because it, when i pick up the accordion like let's say my hands are out I slip it in here and I can feel my C right there and I can go usually there's a button there's a little metal thing right here so I can go right here and that to me is a C sorry right here I was one off the, this little guy here should slip right into into this one so I'll do that again hands are off I don't even look I find my dimple here I find this little metal thing here, and that should, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, sorry, that one. So that's C. Um, that way you don't have to look every time to try to figure out where you are. Now, just if you're starting off and you want to do simple stuff, this is C. The root, if you press it with the next row, that's a major chord. If you want to do that polka, oompa, loompa thing, you go, this here is a G. So you can go. That is basically an oompa loompa sort of polka sound. Now some people use fourth and third. This is fourth and third finger. You can do third and second. You might even 
even try fourth and third and second. Honestly, the fingering style that you use on the bass is not critical. Um, as you play more and more, you fall into sort of which is more convenient for you. It depends on the size of your fingers, sort of how you angle, what's comfortable, and the flexibility. There's various factors. I wouldn't get hung up too much on the fingers. Just make sure you do something that works. So I, I interchange. I go from three to four to two. I don't know. I do all sorts of weird stuff. Probably horrible technique, but for now, it gets me through things. And uh, eventually, when my hand, you know, gets a little bit more nimble, I might pick one over the other. But most accordionists that I've talked to, you know, the, the, there's no, uh, you know, really any set rule. You just do whatever works. Okay, and if one is limiting you, try the other, and if it's better, you use that. Okay, so let's try a simple song here. So this is just uh, going C, and then G, and then again, and then back to C. And then we, F is the one down from C, right, because it's the circle of fifths. And then C again. Then G. And you can improvise on this side pretty much something, whatever you want to do. notes all you're doing is staying here one C G and F and you're going into the majors that's it not even doing minor keys basically with six buttons one two three four five six you and just improvising on this side you can carry a simple tune you know fake it I guess you can call it just make up something that sounds like it's uh, fun so here we go You can go into the minors. So after you do that major uh, sort of progression, you can turn it dark. There you go. I'm going to go to the seventh. there is C minor then it goes to G major seventh and then F minor and then C minor Basically it. I mean, with just a few notes here, C, G, and F, and using their major, minor, and maybe the seventh equivalents, you can play a huge number of songs. It doesn't all have to be polka, right? You can go... Uh
off key there, but you get the idea. So uh, now I recommend highly following a book that helps you get familiar with all of the scales and the bass progressions and to essentially uh, practice your fingering and getting the right, um, uh, you know, just learning how to get in the right position. Intervals, for example, knowing exactly what span would be a, uh, an octave. Like for example, if I find my landmark here, right there, that's C. And if I remember correctly, this should be the other C. I can't see a thing, no pun intended, but this is different span than on a piano. But over time, I've learned through muscle memory to recognize that this is a C. some other stuff in a later video uh, but just wanted to show you how you can pull off something that sounds fairly decent with only three buttons and just improvising completely on one essentially uh, on the piano side you can make something that sounds pretty good uh, but you have to play around with the bellows and time yourself so that you don't run out of air and you kind of build in a momentum uh, and that's it thanks for watching